In this video, we're going to go over what the index of hydrogen deficiency or IHD is. So the index of hydrogen deficiency is really just a measure of the number of double bond equivalents in a structure or a chemical formula. So given that definition, it's also known as the degree of unsaturation because it's a measure of how many double bond equivalents there is within that structure or within that formula. So we can determine it then either from the structure or from the formula, and I'm gonna show you an example of each. So from a structure, really what we're gonna be doing is just counting up the number of double bond double bond equivalents. So we need some rules to follow as we're counting those up. If you have a double bond, then its double bond equivalent is one. If you have a triple bond, it's like having two double bonds. So its double bond equivalent is two. A ring is considered to be a double bond equivalent of one. And an aromatic ring is a double bond equivalent of four because you have three double bonds plus a ring. So if we took a look, take a look at our examples here, in this first example, we have just a ring structure, and so its IHD value is equal to one. For our aromatic ring, which is beside that, its IHD value is equal to four. There are three double bonds, and there's a ring. For the next one down here, we have one ring and we have two double bonds. So its IHD is three. And in this last example, we have an aromatic ring, so that's four, and we've got a double bond here and a double bond here. So its total IHD is equal to six. So it's really easy to determine the IHD from a structure. It's a little bit more complicated as you go through from a chemical formula because you do need to use an equation to figure it out. So if you have a formula and your formula is given by this generic equation here where the small subscripts are telling you how many of each you have and the larger letters are telling you the element, okay? Where X can be any halogen, so that could be chlorine, it could be fluorine, bromine, etc. So if we're given a formula in that format, then the IHD is equal to one half times two times C plus two minus H minus X plus N. So it's two times the number of carbons plus two minus the number of hydrogens minus the number of halogens plus the number of nitrogens. So let's apply this to a couple of examples here. In our first one, our IHD is equal to one half times, we have two times five carbons, and then we have to add two. Then we're gonna take away the number of hydrogens, which is 12, and we're gonna add the number of nitrogens, which is two. So that's gonna give us 10, plus two is 12, minus 12 makes that zero, plus two makes that two, divided by half gives us an IHD of one. So what that means is it gives us a little bit of information about the structure. It tells us that this structure could potentially have a ring, or it could have a double bond because both of those have an IHD of one. And we would need to then use more information from some of the other spectroscopy techniques to figure out exactly what the structure is. Okay, so our next example here, our IHD, if we apply the same formula, one half, two times the number of carbons plus two minus 46, the number of hydrogens, and then oxygen doesn't contribute to the IHD, so we don't need to add or take away anything else from there. 
So if we go through here, 2 times 27 is going to be 54 plus 2 minus 46. And so that's going to give us an IHD of 5. Now, what this means, it could mean a lot of different things, right? It could mean that you have five double bonds somewhere in your structure. It could mean you have an aromatic ring and a double bond. Or you could have two triple bonds and a double bond. So it gives you a little bit of information about the structure, but it doesn't give you everything. It gives you a starting off place. And what we're going to explore in further videos about spectroscopy is how we can use this piece of information to continue to figure out what a structure is.